goddamn button. Press the goddamn button. Everybody subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Go ahead and click that red button right there. And also click that bell for notifications and select all. All right. Yo, 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 yo. This is Games and Graphics. We are back in the building with another GTA 5 mod tutorial for you. And we are going to be installing this 2020 Ferrari Monza SP2. All right. It's going to be an add-on car right here. So, uh. This is definitely going to be nice, man. I'm already loving it. I'm going to show you a couple of screenshots right here. Oh, man, that thing is sexy, man. <laughs> All right. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into it. Uh, this is the creator right here. Uh... I'm not going to really say all that, but shout out to the creator, man. You know what I mean? It's kind of hard to read that name right there, but shout out to the creator of this right here. When you get down to this link, what you want to do is scroll down and always read the description. Definitely read all the description. When you're done reading the description, you want to come up here where it says current, and you want to download right here where it's the green arrow. All right, select the green arrow to download. Now, in order to install this, we are going to need one very important requirement, which is Open 4. We will not be installing Open 4 today, but I will leave a link down in the description to a video showing you how to install Open 4 if you don't have it already. All right. So once you have 2020 Ferrari Monza downloaded and you also have your Open 4 installed on my left hand side, I have a folder which is one download and this is the Monza. All right. When you download the 2020 uh, Ferrari, it is going to say Monza. All right. On my right hand side of the screen, I have my Grand Theft Auto 5 directory opened up. Now inside of your Grand Theft Auto 5 directory, you are going to need a mods folder. All right. So if you don't have a mods folder, go ahead and create a folder, name it mods, all in low caps. All right. Once you have that created, what you want to do is go down to update. All right. Go to the update folder and you want to copy this whole entire update folder. Once you copy this folder, you want to go back to your mods folder and want to open up your mods folder. Then you want to paste that update folder inside of your mods folder. All right. Once you have that pasted, go ahead and open up your update folder. Then go inside 64. Then open up DLC packs. Now let's go back over to our downloads. And we want to select the Monza folder. And we want to drag and drop the whole Monza folder into our DLC packs. All right. Now you should see your Monza folder right here in your DLC packs. Once that has been added, what we want to do now is open up our open four. So go ahead and open up your open four. All right. I have my open four opened up on my right hand side, as you can see right here. Before we go any further, always make sure that you have your edit mode on. Your edit mode is this button right here near the top right of your open four. Go ahead and select it and make sure it's on, okay? Once that has been turned on, let's go ahead and navigate to where we need to add this to our DLC list.xml, all right? So let's go to the side column right here, select update. Once you select update, you wanna select update.rpf. Now you're going to have a red banner that pops up. It's going to say copy to mods folder. Go ahead and select copy to mods folder. Now we want to go inside common, then data. Scroll down to you see DLC list.xml. Right click with the mouse and select edit. This window will pop up. You want to scroll down to the bottom. Copy your last item line, your last item DLC pack line. I'm just going to copy that. Put the cursor behind that line and press enter on the keyboard to open up a new line. And then paste that same line you just copied. So now you should have two of the same line. Now let's go back over to our downloads where we had our Monza folder. And we're just going to copy the name Monza. Just like that. Go back over to our DLC list.xml. And that last line that we had pasted. We just want to paste Monza over the name inside that line. Paste. So now we should have a new item line with Monza inside of that item line. So it should look just like this. All right. Once you're done doing that, go ahead and press save. Now that that has been saved, file, close all archives, 
and we could exit out of uh, open for minimize any other windows that we have open and I will also leave a link down in the description to a trainer slash mod menu because you're going to need a trainer or mod menu in order to spawn your, uh, your add-on car, okay? So I will leave a link down in the description to that if you don't have a trainer or mod menu installed already. So without further ado, let's go ahead and run the game. Alright, once you load into the game, you want to open up uh, any trainer that you have installed. I'm going to open up Simple Trainer. And in Simple Trainer, we can go down to Vehicle Spawning, and scroll down near the bottom of the list and select Added Vehicles Menu. Inside Added Vehicles Menu, this is where you will find your add-on cars that you installed. As you can see, I have two add-on cars, and one of those is the Monza. It's going to say Monza Super. Go ahead and select that, and you will see your car right here. And as you can hear and everything it has its own handling uh, it's very nice actually wow look at that uh, look at that rear view mirror wow that's the first time I've seen something like that damn it's like you're separated from the uh, passenger over there wow this is nice look at this okay mine's a sp2 huh oh yeah we got the the, the keys I mean the, the dash works and everything the dials on the dash oh that's cool wow look at that you got the little speed thing on the uh, steering wheel too oh yeah this is nice yeah it's my first time checking this out y'all <laughs> we both checked it out first time all right let me uh, add a little color to it real quick uh, there we go I just like picking a little something random you know yeah, this is nice though, man. Y'all let me know in the comment section what y'all think of this, man. There we go. Oh, yeah. All right. Now, let's take this bad boy over down to the airport. This is where I like to uh, test out and see how uh, quick these actually go. You know what I mean? This is actually a good place to do it, too. y'all let's go all right we got it at uh regular actually we don't have any turbo on or nothing like that this is just regular stock of course we're gonna beat it <laughs> A little bit laggy. Um, I got something installed in the game. I forgot to take out. I think it might be that monster mayhem. <laughs> yeah, but this is nice. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. Let's get a nice little screenshot of that right there, shall we? Uh? Oh yeah, look this way, Frank. <laughs> Selfie. All right, there we go. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, let Frank race up and down the uh, airport in this new Ferrari, man. But shit, man, if y'all like this Ferrari, man, and think this is the coolest thing, man, since sliced bread, y'all go ahead and smash that like button for you, boy. Definitely subscribe to the channel if y'all haven't already. And share the video with y'all friends that are in a modding GTA 5, y'all. This is Games Graphics, me and Big Bowling as Frank. We are out of here until next time, y'all. I ain't scared of you motherfuckers.